Discover 2021 brand new assets from 2021, and there's a few from Infinity PBR modules and the medieval town environment, the low poly humans, orcs, and elves as well. I'm going to go through and basically talk about which assets I like uh, for my own game, Legend of the Stones, and a couple that I think are just really great assets that you know folks should check out. There's a lot of in here, and if you click the shop all sale, you can just see everything that's on sale. Um, there's 163 assets in this sale. All right, let's start with the medieval town environment because, in my opinion, this is the asset that you, do if you don't have already, you should get. This is, of course, an Infinity PBR asset. It's 50% off, so it's only 30 bucks. We put over a year of work into this, and it has a ton of stuff in it. It's got all these buildings, all these props, all these modular pieces to work on the building. Um, I think there's hundreds of prefabs. I don't know how many. I haven't counted because there's just too many. But all these buildings are even modular, and you can combine them into different uh, co combinations. There's like six versions of each building and I think there's maybe 10 base buildings so that's 60 different ready to drag and drop versions um, a lot of them most of them start with interiors in fact and you know if you mix and match them maybe the interiors get a little wonky as a wall might come through or whatnot but you know the big ones are taverns that have two levels interiors with different rooms and they're filled with props and tables and prefabs everything you might want so definitely check out medieval town environment again 50 percent off 30 dollars. you won't get a better price i don't think um and uh there's just so much here that you should definitely check it out all right feel from more mountains just looks amazing just watching this video makes me want it because um being able to more easily just have really cool effects whether it be camera shaking or um uh, linking it with other things like your audio or other just things of your game is just really cool. More Mountains is a popular publisher. Uh, I think everyone has seen their stuff with the Corgi engine and whatnot. So you can trust the quality. I think we might actually be able to interview this publisher as well in the in the near future, which would be really cool and, and help um, figure out how to get the feel implemented into my own project uh, live on the interview. So that would be really cool. So definitely check out Feel. So for my own low poly work, uh, the intent is that they would work really well with the Cinti Studio stuff. So um, this is one of their new fantasy packs, the environment, this very large environment, Dungeon Realms, looks like a Dwarven Dungeon Realm thing. Um, definitely check it out if you're into the low poly stuff. Uh, if you are, you might have already bought it because it is a high quality pack, like all the Cinti Studio stuff. So something to check out for sure. Um, I'm not making that for Legend of the Stones, mine's high fidelity, but with the low, low poly stuff that we produce, uh, this is a shoe in for working with all those creatures and, and monsters. If you have seen the Legend of the Stones uh, demo scenes or the live cast that I've been doing, you might have recognized the meadow environment from Nature Manufacture, and this is the new mountain environment from the same publisher. What I love about these is that they have really high quality demo scenes that are ready to be used right out of the box. So you don't have to spend your time making a level to make a realistic level that you might see in your game while you're working on your game logic. So um, that's why I would suggest using these. That's why I use them. And when I'm ready, I will use these and other packs to make the actual world itself. So I'll have my own unique world. But for now, just use these demo scenes and get your game made to the where it's fun. And then you can expand from there. So I'm highlighting top-down effects not because I'm going to use it. I'm not. They're, they're too tunish for, for my stuff. However, if there's any way I can modify them, make them less tunish, um, then I will, or if I can learn from them. Because these are really cool effects, and I'm a fan. I mean, the, this you know mesh in the middle and all that. I'm a fan of anything that looks really pretty, if you haven't realized that yet. And this is a pack that just looks really gorgeous, and it's got a unique you know, tunish style, but... Um, I think it's something that uh, we can all learn from, we can use in projects that do use this style, and um, it just looks really nice. So this KWS water system is gorgeous, I mean look at that. Above water, below water, it looks realistic, it looks good. Um, it's made by the same publisher who does the realistic effects pack 4, 3, 2, and 1, um, which you've probably seen because the realistic effects pack 4 is crazy popular, really high quality. These waves just look great. So I'm going to be using this in my game for sure. I haven't purchased it yet. This is definitely something I'll be buying after making this video. Um, yeah, 
this is definitely a pack to check out. Easy Character Movement 2 is something that um, I haven't bought yet myself. I've created, you know, simple movements for my own games. But, you know, character movement is complex. It's, it's, it's so simple, yet at the same time it's very complex to get it really right. And this package seems to do it well. I've heard others talk about how uh, it works really well with the platforms, the moving platforms. You see them in the background of the video there. Um, and we can probably skip ahead and see them here. And how it... it it doesn't, I guess it's a tricky subject to get them working with platforms appropriately. And so in this case, it works really well and that's something that's unique. So, you know, when you're trying to prototype something really quick, my preference is to not worry about character controllers and stuff and just to use something that I know works and then, um, you know, go from there rather than trying to make my own character controller from scratch and whatnot. So I wanted to highlight these platform animations. They're not the style that I will be using for my game, but I really liked how, even though it's you know technically meant for a 2D game, like the side-scrolling platformer, they use a 3D mesh, which I appreciate because I think you know 3D meshes in 2D games makes a lot of sense for a much more realistic look, um, and you know you can get the character turning and all that, and you don't have to worry about sprites. So this is something I just wanted to highlight as, you know, I think it would work really well with my characters, but um, it's definitely not my style, so I won't be using it for in uh, Legend of the Stones. Here's another one that I won't be using myself, but I think is gorgeous. Uh, Sci-Fi Modular Base from Fun Dev. I've not seen this before, this, um, uh, this pack, and it just looks really great. The detail, um, a lot of effort has been put into it. I think this is an HDRP, yeah, this is an HDRP scene, but still, I'm sure you can get something very similar from standard renderer uh, and URP, but it looks great, and if I were to make a sci-fi game, I think this would be a great jumping off point and a great package to use for, you know, space stations, underground layers, and other things like that. So I've been watching this easy card game asset, uh, and it's really interesting. I, I love the idea of having built-in card games inside other games. Um, Might Magic 7 from way back in the day, in the 1990s, had that where you go to an inn and you can sit down and play a card game uh, against the innkeeper, I think it was. But um, it was really fun because here you are playing this other game and then you go to an inn and you can just sit down and play a card game for a while. So I wanted to rebuild that into my game. And um, so I, I think I'm going to keep looking into this. It looks like it's a well-designed system that's relatively easy to set up um, and, you know, edit and modify. So I've got some ideas and I, I will look into using this for Legend of the Stones because I really want to have the idea of having a card game in, uh, inside the, the inns and whatnot. So Nature Shaders is something I've been very much looking into because of the ability to do um, seasons and weather for seasons. That is something that is going to be key for Legend of the Stones, um, having seasons and winter and fall and spring and summer. And so this is definitely something I've been looking into. I haven't gotten it yet, but um, we can see near the end of the video here, it goes into fall and then into winter as well. So definitely check this one out. Um, very popular asset. These, these, this publisher has been doing some great work. So the Realistic Wolf from Malbers. Everyone knows Malbers Animations produces really high quality stuff. Uh, the animations are always top notch. Here we've got some cubs with the wolf, which is really cool. Um, so I just highlight it. I would probably use it for my own project um, if I don't create a wolf myself. And uh, honestly, it just looks really cool. So definitely check out the wolf from Malbers Animations. So the Rocky Hills environment looks gorgeous. And I think you know, in, when I moved to the production stage of Legend of the Stones, the one thing that would get me to switch from what I'm using now to using this stuff is the seasons that seem to be built in. Now, I haven't bought this yet, so I haven't played with it. But as you can see here, we've got different seasons. So if, if I can easily move from, you know, one season to another, that would just be really cool. And so this is def definitely something to keep an eye on. And of course, we've got the Game Modules Bundle, also from Infinity PBR. So if you haven't been watching, you know, the Legend of the Stones dev streams or paying attention, um, the modules are basically things I'm making for my game that I'm producing in such a way that they can be used for any game. They're extremely flexible little bits and pieces that make, you know, um, tasks, tasks that you might already be trying to do a lot easier. 
So for in this, this case, we've got this drag and drop inventory system. Um, that's much more bespoke than most of the modules are because if you're going to use this it's because you want this drag and drop system where you have an inventory with the grid and you can pick up items and whatnot. But even then, it's very flexible. Like this uh, portrait on the right isn't actually part of the module itself. That's something you could code for yourself or if you have a completely different way of doing things, code it differently. All the modules are set up that way where they allow you to do some pretty intense stuff, um, especially if you get creative with them, but they don't make you change your game in order to work with them. You know, there are a lot of kits out there that, you know, if you want to use them, you've got to do your game in a certain way. And I don't want to um, force that on you. And so all these modules are set up in a way that they can be flexible enough to be used in any game and with and without the other modules. Sometimes they work with the other modules to add more variety. Um, and more options, but definitely check it out. There's a bunch of modules right now, and as I keep making Legend of the Stones, I'm sure I'll be adding more. So let's just uh, let's just listen to this for a little bit. <laughs> So what I really appreciate about this is, first it would look really good in my, or it sound really good in my uh, medieval village environment, but also I like this uh, inspector script that they've made. I'm, I'm always a huge fan of uh, inspector scripts, and I think in this case it probably adds a lot to the package. So definitely something to check out. I'm going to be um, getting it at some point for Legend of the Stones. Maybe I'll get it today. It's only $7.50. Really good price. We got the Mosquito Pack, which I'm highlighting because of the Frogs Pack. The Frogs Pack just looks so good that I also wanted to highlight this Mosquito Pack. Again, only $6.50. That's not expensive for uh, a mod... I don't, not modular, but I think multiple characters. Um, one, two, three, four different Mosquito types. All look pretty cool. I'm definitely going to be able to use these in my game. I think they would match the style pretty well, so um, this is something I'll pick up. And here's the Frogs themselves. So the Frogs are just gorgeous. These are... You know, I don't think they can be customized in any way, but they are a bunch of them, a lot of different frog looks. They look like they're well animated, very well designed. They look really cool. Um, they're going to be, for me, I'm going to use them like small, just on the ground, so they kind of like blend in and just add some ambiance. But also as, as enemies, because these are just really great looking frogs. And I think they'd uh, make some really good uh, bad guys for, for an RPG game. And of course, we have the Low Poly Humans, Elves, Orcs pack from Infinity PBR. Now, this is a conversion of all of our humanoid packs. And so we've got the body, which can be, you know, human, elf, male, male, uh, female, half orc, whatever you want, uh, using blend shapes. But we also have converted all the wardrobe over so that you can mix and match them. Um, you can turn some on, turn some off, change the colors, all with the inspector script. So it's pretty easy to set some presets and then, you know, with one call, activate those presets um, and then you can create your own wardrobe there's just a whole lot here uh, and a lot you can do so definitely check it out if you're into the low poly stuff it's it's versatile it's flexible um, and uh, hopefully it'll work really well for your project so there we go don't forget to like and subscribe hit the bell icon to get notified we're producing a lot of content on the infinity pbr channel not just videos like these not just the demo scenes but tutorials on how to use my assets but also how to you know set them up with other things like you know getting the horse and the human riding on the malbers anim set pro um horse pack uh storytelling with c sharp this monster battle sandbox really cool project it's completely free on the asset store um, how to animate with U-Motion. We're just doing a whole lot here. So definitely like, subscribe, help us grow the channel, and then come over to the Discord. If you go to infinitypbr.com, click this Join the Discord. Join us on Discord and let us know what kind of content you're looking for us to make. Uh, and you never know, we might actually make it for you. All right, have a great day.